Other than being the sole food type for daily feeding for our nursing moms and our most critical pets, we need wet food for our medication distribution. As you can see, our vet tech Andrea is preparing each pet's medication with a spoonful of wet food. Once this is prepared, our team can easily distribute the crucial medication to the pets in need. The puppies you see here have tested positive for distemper, which is much like COVID, where their sense of smell and taste is affected. Distemper also affects their appetite, which means that dry food doesn't always cut it. When distemper cases become drastic and the pup is still recovering, sometimes even the delicious wet food isn't enough. Sprout has been through so much for such a young pup, but with the help of our dedicated team and your support, Sprout will continue to improve and finally be on her way to finding her forever home. We're needing at least 1,200 cans to get us back on track. Help us restock by dropping off your donations today or shop our Amazon wish list to get them delivered. Other than being the sole food type for daily feeding for our nursing moms and our most critical pets, we need wet food for our medication distribution. As you can see, our vet tech Andrea is preparing each pet's medication with a spoonful of wet food. Once this is prepared, our team can easily distribute the crucial medication to the pets in need. The puppies you see here have tested positive for distemper, which is much like COVID, where their sense of smell and taste is affected. Distemper also affects their appetite, which means that dry food doesn't always cut it. When distemper cases become drastic and the pup is still recovering, sometimes even the delicious wet food isn't enough. Sprout has been through so much for such a young pup, but with the help of our dedicated team and your support, Sprout will continue to improve and finally be on her way to finding her forever home.